Hey Siri, remind me that I'm out of mini Eggo waffles. The cinnamon kind. The cinnamon kind, wait. Make sure you put down that they're the cinnamon kind. That's really important. scared but I feel like living on the edge man I haven't done a YouTube vlog I still am not sure if these are vlogs I really don't people keep asking like you know they're vlogs you've been doing this this is so stupid why I don't know it's like a comfort thing for me is it a vlog or not I don't know I haven't vlogged in a very long time I'm used to streaming I've been streaming like every day of my life for the last two years <laughs> so I'm so used to seeing chat sorry about baby he's a little rambunctious <laughs> oh, he was so crazy cringe so hard at myself when I say like things like that like good morning or night and then I'm just like why am I cringing that's like who I am and then I was like should I edit that out and then I was like no like the world needs more cringe the world needs more appropriate cringe you know what I mean like times where it really is authentically cringy not like not like trying to be cringy but like authentic cringe I think we need to allow more of that we as people need to do better <laughs> No, we really do though. Um, I am late for work, so let's go to the pizzeria. Oh my god, you know what I just thought of? Morning October panic. Oh god, what did I say? It's Tosha Sue. Wow, 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 wow. We haven't been in the pizzeria in forever, so let me take you around so you could see what's different that didn't rhyme. But let's keep going with the song. Welcome to the store! We're at the pizzeria, clearly. I just want to show you some updated things because I haven't filmed a video and just like been in the pizzeria to like show what's new, what's been going on. I feel like uh, there's so much that's happened since I last just like talked to the YouTube fam. And I just want to say I'm sorry because I left out a lot about what has been happening with my life and all that. Is there something in my teeth? No, okay. Hi, all right, so I'm not sure if you guys have seen this yet. It's my like wall, <laughs> it's my Twitch wall. So when you come into the pizzeria, you can literally see Pizza Princess Key, number one pizza streamer on Twitch. Watch me make pizza live. That's pretty cool. Um, all the merch, except for these, are gone, so we just kept these shirts just as, like, art pieces now. <laughs> we have this mirror, it's from a different store, but it's all fun! And here's my spread, you guys saw this in my, um, birthday vlog, I think it's vlog. My sister gave me, uh, my PMQ magazine, uh, framed, like this for the pizzeria. Juliana Kalashbeta, PMQ, the world's largest pizza magazine, Camp Pizzeria and Universal, which is my business, October 2023. So we put it on the wall. And then right above it is my Instagram uh, follower counters. So when I'm grabbing slices for customers and I bring them here, they're like, oh, I just read your thing. Oh, and I just followed and the number went up. That's so cool. So like, that's been something fun at work. Crazy Slice of the Week, you guys know about this, I hope. If you don't know about Crazy Slice of the Week, you should follow me on Instagram because I post it all the time. Right now, I'm literally talking to you as I open up the pizzeria. So, ow! I just crash into that. Look what I did. Somebody's gonna get this box today and be like, oh, interesting. A little dent in the box and they're not gonna know that that just happened. Oh, um, we were listening to Queen Radio for a long time and now we're back on Tame Impala. It's either Tame Impala or Queen, honestly. So pretty much my Twitch wall, this, oh, and my, the entire back. Of course, Patience is playing. This song, it always plays when I need to hear it. All right, my hair is up, my apron's on. Also, the flashing, I'm aware. We got a strobe light. <laughs> oh, also, that's the mistletoe from uh, Christmas from, I think it's two years ago? 
Mike put up a mistletoe um, above the pizza section, which is really cute. But yeah, that's that flashing light that just happened. It's gonna go away, so please try to ignore that. You guys, this is the coolest thing, the coolest update of the pizzeria is my stream setup. It's crazy. So let me show you what I do every single morning when I get into work. So the first thing that I do is I have to turn my iPad on. Don't look at the password. It may or may not be the same one on my phone. Okay, <laughs> look, it's always fun because I some people in chat are already talking. So in this cheese box here, I have my PC, this tiny PC. I have a camera there, I have my stream deck, um, which was sent to me by someone in chat, Hooded Ornament. Thank you so much, so sweet. Um, we built this little shelf, Mike's mom helped me. Over here, um, I have the chat up, so I connected chat here to there, which is really cool. And uh, my ring light that was gifted to me by Vivitar, thank you. Um, I use it all the time. I've been using it for like four years. <laughs> and the lights I've never replaced and they, they're on all day, all the time. You guys, I'm literally filming this with the, my camera right over the flower bowl. I really... Everything's insured. That's good. Um, shout out to my streaming phone. Don't know what I would do without her. It's really pretty uh, purple. Um, literally the only thing on this phone is settings and then um, droid cam OBS. That's what I use for connecting it to my stream. Now I put it over here. I plug it in all day so it just charges and it's in there. I call it chat's crib. Okay, there we go. Update. Uh, remind me later. So something I like to do before I go live. I have these like presets on my stream deck. So I have something here that says it's all fun. So I can press it's all fun and then it shows chat that I'm active without going live. So I just said it's all fun. Um, right now, Pie My Palm looks like he's going through it. He said, faking it at best, I can. Yours, so they're talking about their day. I like when people, oh look, they're talking right now. Can you see they see me? It's all fun. Something I've been really learning about um, streaming is just how much I love being part of a community. The fact that people are already in my chat discussing their days with each other is really amazing. It's, um, I'm, I'm really blessed. I'm just updating you with my life. And by you, I don't even mean the audience, I really just mean me. I'm just talking to Juliana in the future. G, like this is what you were doing, these were the songs you were listening to, this was your setup at the time. If people are tuning into this to kind of watch like, you know, the evolution of me, that's beautiful. I hope it inspires you. I encourage you to get inspired by your own life. Hopefully I can help you by um, watching my content. Next, I have to update the stream title. What should I update it to? I never know. Um, I think I'll just say, it's pizza time. I gotta start making pizzas. I guess this is about the time where I do my vibey pizza montage that literally nobody asked for if you watch any of my pizza related vlogs. I always do a vibey pizza montage with the same music and nobody ever asked for it, but I pretend like people do so it's more fun. So, okay, we're gonna do that now. Ready? AKA Wolverine, AKA Ron and Linda, AKA. Oh. That was really nice of you. This is very nice. I want the Boston Queen. Wolverine, also known as the person who I always, I always pin his comments on my YouTube channel because they're oh. always really funny. Uh, Uncle Wolvie, you're kind of in this video now. I didn't know what kind you liked, so I guessed. Shout out to Uncle Wolvie. Thank you, Uncle Wolvie. If you were wearing this outfit, what shoes would you pick? Which ones? Would you pick gold? Just some white. Gold? Or the blue? It looks like it's doing a lot. Because the dress is so plain, so like I want to like upscale with the gold. You hold it. You don't like the gold shoes? I do. I feel like the gold looks really pretty. But then the blue looks really nice. Show that. Like this. I feel like the gold looks really nice. 
But then this is like more like. Put your foot down. <sighs> okay. Comment what you think I wore before the next clip. You have a. You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. What did I end up picking? <laughs> gold team rules! Hi! So I picked the gold ones. Okay, well, they look beautiful in here. I love the dress, too. It's beautiful. Cut! Wait, is this a vlog? What is this? What are we doing Hello, here? Everybody. This is Celestial Dental's patient appreciation event. I've been in practice now for almost five years, and we are acknowledging those patients who've been with us since the very beginning. They've referred us many, many patients as well, and have done a lot of dentistry with us, trusting us to take care of them. What do you want out of this night? What would make this night amazing? What make it amazing? Yeah. It already is amazing. Oh. All my most valued patients are here, my team is here, my family's here, what more can I want? It's kind of like all your favorite chatters. Yep. Yep. Toothbrushes and cookies. It's balance. Cookies and toothbrushes. Is this is this a is this a water candle? Oh, that's me. Whoa. Brush your teeth, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, all the closer, guys. Let's do a fun shot, guys. Let's do a fun shot. It's fruity. Salad. Yummy, yummy. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Antonio Calashibata. Affectionately known as Dr. C, because most people can't pronounce that, which is fine. You know, people ask me, why celestial dental? Why celestial? Celestial means relating to the sky or outer space, regarded to the realm of the sun, moon, or the planets. They say, wow, space thing, okay, where are we going with this? And then some of the synonyms involved with that are stellar or otherworldly, as I hope my patients feel when they come into our practice and see our team working together to ensure that they have a beautiful smile. So Space Theme Dental Office, I know, and I've talked with some of you about this, some of you were around to see the Saturn V launch in 1969, and when I was a little guy, I saw that, and it blew my mind. And ever since I was about five, six years old, enamored and obsessed with space. It's always something that's been near and dear to my heart because it blows your mind. To this day, it's just something I've always been very passionate about and I hope I've been able to share a little bit about that with each one of you. We are here to help you and make sure this always coming from a place of compassion. Too many times have I heard my previous dentist was mean to me, said nasty things, made me feel like I was inadequate, like I didn't care about myself. We want to make sure that that changes at our doors. Celestial Dental. Thank you all. And the kid kids. I hope you guys have a wonderful time tonight. My first ever friend, my sister, who's my chief marketing officer, who is the, the mastermind behind the branding, the logo, all the interior design, my sister Bianca Kalashimara. Brother. Oh, my 
girl drink. Michael. Ugh. Michael. Michael. Get this. Ugh. Get this. Okay. So right now, Chad. What do you want to say? Watching the couch of better siblings. They're talking to each other. They're trying to figure out something to say. Let's see what they say. Some blood. 